Once upon a time, there was a god, an old god, some might say a minor god, although that very statement betrayed a false understanding of how gods even work. The idea of small gods, major gods, all fathers, all of these ideas, those were things people put on to divinity. It wasn't even incorrect, it was just wrong. But she was a very old god. She'd had many names and been worshipped in many places, most of which long since forgotten by now, which is the fate of all gods. To live and die and live again, never dying really, but shedding names and histories and faces like other people lose hair at a haircut, just a part of moving through the world. It wasn't a bad feeling to change, not anymore. When she was a young god, perhaps. But she had learned now how to move with grace through history. This god was a god of dance. And so, of course, she had never gone out of fashion. Most gods managed to live forever in one way or another, although she had known some that had fallen on hard times. There were certainly some archaic gods, like the god of the hearth, who had had to change significantly to stay alive in the modern day, but there are still hearths all over. We just don't call them that anymore. But we still call the dance the dance. It's always another disco to go to, another needle waiting to drop on another record. Always a crowd of people ready to move. And since that dance could break out anywhere at any time, she was worshipped everywhere. In apartments, as people got ready to go out, in kindergarten classrooms on a five minute dance break, in the middle of the street on New Year's Eve. But even though she was worshiped far and wide, it wasn't always easy being God of the dance. Dancing, of course, is one of the things that lets out some of the most primal parts of us. And so sometimes, as the good is released, so too is the bad. And admission to a dance hall can just as easily be a ticket to a terrible night. Sometimes it was just a toe stepped on. Sometimes it was a fight in the middle of the dance floor that cleared the room. People trying to make connections that sometimes other people don't want to make with them. And one night, the god of dance was in a club having the time of her ever life. Feeling the movement and the energy of the people around her, taking it into her and then putting it back out tenfold. No one on the dance floor knew there was a god among them, of course. But they felt the intensity of her energy. And for hours, it was fantastic. But again, sometimes with the good, the bad comes out as well. And the god heard a glass break. Heard someone 
say the word bitch. Heard the murmur and the discomfort that can only be caused by a room full of people being broken out of their dance to realize that there is danger in this place of joy. But one of the perks of being a god is that you do not need to put up with that shit. <laughs> and so in the blink of an eye, the god was there before this angry man with vodka and Red Bull all over his shirt, standing between him and the two girls he had screamed at. And then, before the man could say another horrible word, they were both gone. Just gone. No one knows exactly what she did with him, for the domain of a god is infinite. Our ideas of vertical, horizontal, space, depth, time, these are mostly irrelevant. But everyone on the dance floor knew he wasn't there anymore. And that was all they needed to get back to the music and back to dance. Dance.